right understanding cost accounting flexible budgeting contribution margin and variances this is Ken Boyd the owner of st. Louis test preparation here's our email address and our phone number and a really good website one of the university websites where you can go into each professor's um, link to find a lot of good business school information we want to talk about developing a flexible budget and that involves first of all setting up some line items you're gonna have a line item that you expect a variable cost per unit and your fixed costs I'm gonna flip over to Excel here for a minute and that's what you see here we've got sales we've got variable costs we've got fixed costs we've got a term here called contribution margin that we'll get to in a few minutes we're going to determine an actual level of output so maybe based on prior history for the last three or four years which your salespeople expect you're going to produce a hundred thousand pairs of jeans based on prior years and we're going to use this information to develop a flexible budget for revenue and cost when I flip back to the Excel spreadsheet you'll see a term under variable cost called contribution margin and I want to talk about what that term means first of all from a definition standpoint contribution margin is sales less all your variable costs and what I mean by that is is that contribution margin contributes to two things the money that's left over after subtracting variable costs from sales really covers two things. First of all, it covers your fixed costs. Maybe you have a uh, fixed lease payment on the factory where you manufacture. After paying your fixed costs, whatever is left over is operating profit. If we flip back to Excel, what you'll see here under the actual is we sold $5.5 .5 million worth of stuff and after we subtract our variable costs we have a contribution margin of 4.15 million dollars and that money goes to one goes to two different places the first is it goes to cover your fixed costs and when you subtract the fixed costs whatever's left over is your operating income or your profit the next thing is variances and let's define variances first. A variance is when your actual outcome differs from what you budgeted, which obviously is going to happen all the time because we can't predict exactly. And I want to be careful on a term called favorable and unfavorable variance because favorable is not always lower, unfavorable is not always higher in the reverse. You have to think about whether you're talking about the cost being lower or higher or sales and profit. For example, if your actual costs are lower that's good that's a favorable variance if your actual sales or profit is higher that's good that's a favorable variance and the reverse is true higher costs than you budgeted unfavorable lower sales than you budgeted unfavorable okay so we need to think about if we're talking about costs lower is better if we're talking about profit higher is better so what we see in our example here is moving left to right on the sales column actual sales were higher that's favorable five hundred thousand dollars actual variable costs were higher that's unfavorable which is why I put it in red hundred and fifty thousand contribution margin is favorable because the sales variance less the variable cost variance comes out to a three hundred fifty thousand dollar positive good number we're better off by three hundred fifty thousand dollars that's the end of our cost accounting part eight you'll find part nine on YouTube we also have a YouTube channel Ken Boyd STL all one word a complete list of our videos is on the home page of our website the next bullet point below at stltest.net where we have live tutoring and live chat sessions. Here's our email address and our phone number. The next couple of presentations will continue with our flexible budgeting example. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time.